Hi, this is Quantlamat. Welcome to my channel. So if you're even slightly interested in trading or investing, you probably heard about Wall Street Bets. This is a huge community of retail traders on Reddit and it already has 9.5 million users. And uh, this community can influence markets quite significantly these days. And if you, for example, look at GameStop, this is the most famous stock in the community. And as you can see, it gained 6,000% in just one year, which is absolutely crazy. And you can uh, hate this community on, or you can love it, but you have to agree that it's, it's important to keep an eye on it and what's going on inside it. And um, personally, I don't have enough time to go through the all articles, um, all you know memes they create on the platform. But if you know a bit of programming, you can try to automate this process to get some insight from uh, the from the Wall Street Bad community. And in this video, we'll show you how you can do this in Python just in a few lines of code. So let's go to my Jupyter lab and let's create a Python code that will parse um, Wall Street bets. So first of all, I will start with just importing libraries I will use in uh, this example. So I will import Pantas as usual, and I also will import um, library called Prof, and it stands for uh, Python Rated API Wrapper, and that's basically it. So this is only two libraries we need in this example. So next we need to create a Reddit instance, and basically now we have to authenticate into our Rated profile. So how to do that? So you need to, for read-only access, you have to specify only three arguments. So first part, one is user agent. And you can use anything you want here. You can just create it as my app, for example. Next one is client ID. And a third one is um, client secret. And um, for to obtain these two, um, two parameters, you have to create an application on Reddit. And it's extremely easy to do that. You can go to um, URL reddit.com slash prefs and slash apps. And that's basically um, it here. You can uh, click create another app. And here you can select name of your app. Uh, you can select what, what was it, the type of your app. You can use the app, for example, and use reject URL. I will use just my, uh, my URL of my website. Click create. And here is your new application. And here on the top, this is your um, ID, this client ID. And uh, here is your secret ID. Just copy it and paste it to your uh, script. Let's execute it to see if it works. So it seems to work. So now let's create an object for our Wall Street Bet subreddit. It's quite easy to do that. I will create a subred a variable. I will create an object using reddit.subreddit function. And here I will just uh, type all street bets, basically kind of idea of our uh, subreddit. Let's execute it. And this uh, object already stores uh, some information we can get uh, from uh, Reddit. So for example, we can go and um, get a um, description for example we can also get you know like URL of our subreddit when it was created this is time in Unix time and so on but it's not so interesting let's go and get actual um, articles um, submissions from our reddit so our subreddit um, object uh, has few methods that allow us to get uh, data from uh, Reddit quite easily to get submissions from Reddit. So to do that, you just have to pass your um, subreddit objects. And after that, you can use, for example, a top um, function, top top method, and just put how many articles do you want to output. And this will put you a generator that you can use to get data for for submissions. To use um, to get data from generator, you need to create some sort of a loop to uh, to kind of iterate through the generator and let's do that. So we'll create um, uh, a list, a submission list, and I will create a list for kind of list of lists for 
every submissions in our submissions and here let's um, get some information from our um, from for for our submissions so for every submissions I want to get an ID for example URL um, title um, uh, let's get you know like number of um, comments um, score uh, what else can be useful let's get outer uh, let's but take when it was created and let's also add um, kind of content of our um, of our uh, submissions let's execute it to see how it looks um, it will take a few seconds to compute it now let's we can get and check our list and it seems like we get all the data we wanted so here for example top 10 posts on reddit right now and we have all this information for it delivered to our task quite easily but it's not very useful to work with lists of lists let's create uh, like a, a pandas data frame with uh, all this information and this way it will be much easier to work with that so we'll create another variable a submission dev and i will use um, pandas dot data frame function i'll pass to pandas just my submission list list of with submissions and i'll just uh, as the columns i will specify uh, names for all of my columns so it's um, id uh, url um, title comments outer a score outer um, time and you know let's call this content so that's it let's execute it and let's Let's see how our data frame looks. And as you can see, it's much nicer this way to work with data is much more convenient. In addition to that, you can actually increase your limit quite significantly. I think at, at max you can use, you can get 1000 records for uh, submissions. And also here, instead of top, you can use uh, new to get like new submissions just arriving, just appearing on the, on, on, the, on the Reddit, also you can use a rising just to get a submission that just now rises in popularity. And also you can just use a search, for example, with a, with a key, keyword like uh, Apple, if you want to uh, search for specific uh, topics. Um, in addition to submissions, you can actually parse all the comments inside your submissions. And now let's uh, go and check how you can do that. Uh, for simplicity, I will uh, parse comments for only for single submissions, but in the loop you can parse comments of all your submissions if you want. So let's select, uh, for example, this submission. Let's uh, copy ID of this submission. Let's create um, another uh, variable called a submission. And here let's use reddit.submission um, uh, function and uh, let's here just let's past uh, ID for our submissions. Let's execute it. Uh, let's execute it and see if it works. So it seems to work. Now we kind of we got our submission and let's parse uh, comments for our submissions. First, I will execute uh, a comment called um, sub submission um, comments um, replace more and uh, I'll put limit to zero. What this will does, it will actually uh, replace all, kind of will delete all uh, multi-level comments because people can leave comments on comments. And here for simplicity, I will parse only uh, top level comments because uh, this submission has like almost 6,000 uh, um, like comments in total. So let's just parse a top level for simplicity. And here, now you can uh, go and uh, with the comment um, submission dot comment comments. It will take just a bit of time. And also it will put you like a model. And this is also a generator and you can create like a loop to go through this uh, generator to get all your comments. So let's create uh, this loop. So the idea is very simple to uh, the loop created for our um, submissions. Let's do pretty much the same thing. So for C in our um, comments, 
we will create uh, a little list comprehension and here we will just for every comment we will get some uh, parameters for our comment so let's create get id for let's get alter um, body um, let's um, also use like a score um, how many likes a comment has and let's also uh, use uh, created here and let's create submission a list list variable with this um, values and now let's also create um, a data frame to have this uh, to have these comments in a nice um, uh, in, in, in a nice format so we'll rename this to comment list so um, let's use it again and let's create data frame this will be pandas uh, data frame frame and here I will I use uh, my uh, comment list and I will also output list of columns and column names so it's ID alter body score and time when it was kind of posted let's execute it let's see how our, how our, how our comments looks like and as you can see we got a pretty nice uh, data frame with our comments uh, top level comments in this case so that's basically it as you can see it's really nice api it's like free it's very really easy to use just in a few lines of code we managed to get data from reddit and it's it's a nice format and it's quite a nice api actually so where you can go from here so i think you can do whatever you want you can create some sort of reports for yourself with you know like top like top rising in popularity uh, topics just to keep an eye on what's going on you can uh, like explore you know like single uh, stocks and what's happening with the stocks uh, in the community you know like try to measure you know amount of hype it's getting uh, we can parse all the you know like content of all, um, all all submissions and all comments you can try to run sentiment analysis try to find out okay what are the you know like um, traders bullish or bearish about this stock and so on i think you can create quite nice models quite nice um, reports from that and i think that's all for this video thank you for watching see you next one